Hi, I'm Andrew Smith, and I'm a global product manager for Emerson's Liquid Analytical Group. Customers often ask me, how do you know when to clean or replace a pH sensor? This is important because knowing when to replace the sensor will reduce process downtime. To do that, it helps to understand two common sensor diagnostics, sensor glass impedance and reference junction impedance. You can access these diagnostics through your analyzer. Many of our pH sensors have a nominal glass impedance between 50 to 1000 mega ohms, although the exact value isn't critical. A large upward step change would indicate a coated glass bulb or dry sensor. That lets you know that the sensor either needs to be cleaned or resubmerged into the process fluid. A low, near zero glass impedance indicates that there's a crack in the glass bulb. If so, you need to replace the sensor. Keep in mind, this diagnostic will identify cracks in the sensor body that may not be visible. A new pH sensor generally has a reference impedance of under 10 kilo ohms. Over time, this can trend upwards, which could indicate coating or clogging of the reference junction or depletion of the reference electrolyte. When is it time to address that? A good benchmark is a three to five times increase over the initial value. At that point, the sensor should be cleaned or briefly soaked in a pH 4 buffer to bring the reference impedance value lower. That will help extend the life of your sensor. And that's it. I hope this simple tip helps you get ahead of problems and keep your pH measurement healthy and reliable.